What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I am only gonna be dumpster diving at dollar stores today. So I'm gonna go to all of the ones y'all know, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, all the ones, and I'm really, really excited about it. Father's Day just happened, uh, so I'm wondering if maybe we'll find a lot of cards, but hopefully we find some good stuff and I'm gonna take you along with me, so here we go. Oh shoot, I was too late. It's empty. Darn. Okay, I thought they got picked up on Tuesdays. Maybe normally I'm a lot earlier than this, but it's only 10 a.m. I didn't think it'd be picked up yet. So that might deter things a little bit if it's trash day, but we're gonna keep going, going to more dollar stores. That was the first one and <laughs> we're moving on. All right, let's see. And again, empty. All right. Well, there we go, another empty dumpster. Um, but we're moving on. We're gonna find something today. <laughs> All right, y'all, I finally found something. I got this bag right here of dog food. There we go, and it was from right over here. It's kind of really gross back here. Just like buckets of sludge. <laughs> Oh look, this is another bag, but it's been torn open. It's broken. This is one of the grossest dumpsters I've been to. This is a giant bag of cat food. There we go. I'm gonna put this here because it's kind of hard to be over there. bag of kitty litter. And that's what I can get from there. There is one more bag of cat food all the way at the bottom. So without getting in, I can't get it. And this dumpster is not one that I want to get into. <laughs> but that's awesome. First thing we found today at a dollar store. So re-energized now. We had a lot in the beginning that didn't have anything, but we found stuff and Pilgrim can eat that food, which is awesome. So sweet, we're moving on. All right. Huh. A bunch of shoes. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here. No. I'm not actually sure which one of these dumpsters is the family dollar. I thought it was that one. But it looks like they might all just be empty. There's a big glass mirror, but... Alright. Well, I'm back in Denton now. 
and I'm gonna go to all of the dollar stores around here. So far we've just found the dog food. Hopefully we find more. Okay, this is not a dollar store actually, but I saw that they have a going out of business sign. I wanted to see what they had. It's called dog food. They're like a little pet store. Alright. Well, we got three little bags of dog biscuits. Awesome, we got all pet stuff today. Everything's for the animals. All right, and then there's one other spot right up here that is also going out of business. And I've been wanting to check there every day, so it's not technically a dollar store, but I am gonna check there. Although it kind of looks like there's a car already parked and people are looking already. So if that's the case, I will come back later. But I'm gonna go see. Oh wow, Drug Emporium has a whole big dumpster like that. I'm gonna see if they mind if I look with them. Do you want these? I was going to take them, but I have lots of gloves at home if you want them. I just need a couple yeah, sets. Yeah, take as many as you want. You'd be 
amazed how many people throw out freaking trash bags these days. It's ridiculous. Uh, yep. Absolutely ridiculous. Most of our laundry soap and trash bags and everything are from dumpsters. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> okay. Got a reusable bag here with a few things in it, I'll show. Oh, it's hot. We got cleaning wipes for tape, which is great because I use these a box of gloves. All of these little single use cups that can be donated. This is a something for your breathing. Some type of medicine. A roll of ticket stubs. I find these sometimes and think they're cute, so I took it. We got briefs right here. Also donatable. A plastic tablecloth. And these cute little bags. They're a little wet on the outside, but I think they're fine on the inside. These are just rolls of sticky papers. I kind of like having stuff like this around for making notes on or sealing packages. So there's those. And then right here, <laughs> this whole thing of peppermint candies. And there's some little like caramel ones or orange ones or something also on the bottom less of those, but there we go, from that big dumpster. Awesome. All right, 
right, y'all, I am home and I have it all laid out on the table to show you. I basically just showed you in the back of the truck, but I'm gonna show you again. <laughs> so we got the roll of ticket stubs. Very cool. That's a lot of them. We got the plastic uh, table cover, just a nice green color. Here's the little bags that were in that uh, wet plastic bag and they're totally fine in here. They're really cute. Oh, I didn't realize they have a different back. Cute. Okay, so they have a front and a back. <laughs> so there's those, there's five of them. Really cute, just little gift bags. We got a bunch of these little cups, just like little individual single water serving cups. I'm gonna donate these to the little free pantry. I feel like this is something that people might be able to use uh, and I'm really not sure what else to do with it. I really think donating it would probably be the best option. So there's a bunch of them. It said it originally had 660, but there's probably about half of them combined in those. This I found out is for asthma. So it helps with breathing. It says relief of mild intermittent asthma symptoms. It's brand new. It's completely unopened and still sealed and everything. Uh, it looks like it actually expired. Sorry, my hands are shaking. August, 2019. Oh, <laughs> so I'll actually probably just throw this one back away. That's kind of a long time for medicine to be expired. I'm not sure, I'll look it up. But there's that. This is the tape roller, which is great. All my packaging and everything, I use these. And I actually don't have a big handheld one like this. Um, so that's really awesome. I will be keeping that. These are some shamrock, just gloves. Nothing really special about them, but those are always really useful and helpful. We got these Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar wipes for healthier housekeeping. And I haven't actually looked in here. Let's see. So it does look like they've been used. <laughs> Maybe a couple of them have. I'm gonna actually just use these to wipe down those uh, dog and cat food bags. So I'm just gonna use them for that because uh, those are really dirty and I wanna be able to donate them all clean and everything. So there's those. We got one can of turkey and cod dog food. Uh, we never really give Pilgrim wet food, but he might enjoy it. Best Buy, it expired a couple months ago. Again, with dog food, I, I don't really know or think it really matters. These also are these little $9 boho biscuits and they're like good for you, wheat free, corn free, soy free. Uh, there we go, February 2021 is their expiration date. I don't really think that's gonna matter. They're not supposed to be refrigerated or anything. This one doesn't expire actually until the end of this year. That says 12, uh, 2021, so December. So, and then, oops, and we got two of these ones. These are Harvest Hearts pumpkin flavored. Um, do they expire? There we go. Also February and February. So I'm gonna give one of these to Pilg, see if he likes it. If he does, I'm just gonna keep all of them. I really don't think it's that big of a deal if they've been expired by a couple months, especially for little dog treats. And we got these. These are adult uh, briefs with the tabs and they're just really good for donating. Um, they've been cut open on the top, but it doesn't look like anyone has taken anything out of it. Um, they look nice and clean and everything. So there's that, I'll just seal it back up. I'll actually probably just use one of these. Um, these I really like having. Doing it with one hand's kind of hard, but they're just these little stickers. So I'm just gonna put it right on the top like that just to seal it. So there's those, that's what I use these for. Um, I probably don't need eight rolls of them, but having one of them is pretty handy. So there's those rolls. We got this Drug Emporium yardstick. Alex has actually wanted a wooden yardstick for the sewing room. So that's great. We're going to keep this. There's that. It's always nice when you find things that you've been wanting. And I showed you guys all the peppermints. These were actually still in like a self-serving candy box, like at Party City and stuff where they have all the candies out like that. This was in one of those. I just dumped it into this bag. And I'm going to take these and put them in individual little baggies to donate as well. So there's all those peppermints. Oh, there's nothing in here. I was just showing, I guess, that I got this uh, nice reusable bag. It actually is really nice. It's very durable and it's really clean. It looks brand new. So there we go. 
The things that I didn't bring in were the cat and dog food and kitty litter. I'm just gonna clean them in the back of the truck and then just, I'm gonna go immediately donate all of this stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap the peppermints up right now. But first I wanna try and get Pilgrim one of these. Smell it. Oh, it smells like dog food. Okay, so one little heart. Let's see if he likes it. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh, he's going for it. Oh my gosh. Phil, come here. <laughs> you want a treat? He's so distracted now. Hey, Phil, see if you like this. Come here. Do you like this? Oh. He loves it. <laughs> um, whenever he takes something and immediately buries it, it means he loves it. Like he's very into it and just wants to save it for later. So <laughs> he immediately buried it, great. So I think I will be keeping those dog treats for him. He's so weird. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and package all of the peppermints up and clean the dog food and cat food. Well, I'm keeping the dog food, but clean the cat food and then we will go to the little free pantry. So there we go, they are all bagged up. And we got 19 bags of them, which is awesome. So there we go. They're in these little jelly belly bean bags, <laughs> jelly belly bean bags that I found uh, a while back. And I've actually been using them a lot for stuff like this whenever I donate it to the pantry. So these are perfect. They have a resealable top on them. And there we go, 19 bags right there. And the rest I'll uh, pack up and get it donated. So there's the cat foods. I actually am not putting this one out there because when I touch it, um, now that I don't have my gloves on, I can actually feel that it's all congealed in there. They're not hard little pellets anymore. They're really soft, like some type of liquid got in there. So that one I'm just gonna throw away. Uh, but there's the other two and the peppermints and everything. So there we go. We dropped them at the Little Free Pantry. And that is this dumpster diving video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I will see you all soon. Bye.